Hi everybody, thank you for watching the video. Uh, as you can see, this is my deadlift training from March uh, 17th, currently one and a half weeks out from, man, uh, arguably the most important competition or the most important event uh, to me personally that I've ever been a part of in my life and um, I'll get into all that in a second but just to recap uh, the training went for 589 for a triple pause uh, again focusing on the quality of the pauses here and this is uh, a little bit heavier than what I usually do I usually do 584 but again just bumped up the intensity uh, to get the CNS acclimated as well as just getting my body uh, used to the incremental jumps that I'm making with my volume in the pauses. Because again, the focus is the quality, not necessarily the reps. So I'd rather focus on upping the intensity with the same number of reps uh, while pushing those the quality of the pauses. And I feel that it's been a very big carryover for me in my training. And uh, finish it off with 650 for a pause. Comparing this to the last time I paused it, I would say the pause is a little bit better here. Uh, it was a little bit longer, more controlled. So I definitely feel that training is, uh, you know, uh, definitely a little bit better compared to the last time I did this. Um, and I definitely contribute to this, the, vari the variations and accessories that I've been doing that actually have been going very well in training as well. Um, and making progress uh, and I, I contribute that to the change in the intensity that I've been uh, adding in uh, again to get my body acclimated and add that new stress and I'm definitely seeing a rebound effect uh, in my training so um, but my last official full deadlift workout before this competition which is at the WRPF fighter quick classic in Las Vegas uh, Micah Marino's gym on the 27th of September of March, which I will be competing in the drug testing division. And it, it took me a while to take a step back and make this video because I knew how important this video was for me because this was the last workout before this competition and I have done everything in my power to make sure that I didn't stress, I didn't let get things get to me, knowing the implications of this particular competition for me. Because I don't recall uh, where my mind is at right now if I mentioned it on this YouTube channel, but at this competition I will be attempting the all-time world record drug tested 181 deadlift and um, based on the training and how the progression has been going I felt like this is definitely something that was feasible again soon rather than later and I was on the fence about doing this and here's the reason why I decided it actually occurred to me that the current record world record holder is actually going to be competing that same weekend as I am and also will be competing again uh, before I even get a chance to even take a crack at this, which is why I was going to do it at nationals. So that gives that person two opportunities to re-up the record and uh, before I even had a chance. So I figured based on how my training was going, I felt like it would definitely be reasonable and if there was ever an opportunity to take a chance at this, now would be the time. Worst case scenario is if I attempt it, I break it. Um, you know, this person re-breaks the record, but then I jump up in a second. But at least I could walk away and say that I attempted it. And, you know, I never left it at what if. And I felt like if I left it at that, I definitely would have regretted it in my life. And, oh, man, it just looking back and just thinking about the training and you know just how things have been going and you know like i said it's just something that i know i have envisioned 
for the past eight years I've been competing and the time and the sacrifice that I put to this you know for this ultimate goal um, I mean the fact the fact that now is it's so powerful to me the fact that now I'm, I am in a position where I can say that I'm attempting this speaks volumes to me I mean regardless I believe everything happens for a reason and if it's meant to happen it's gonna happen if it doesn't it doesn't but the fact that I'm here now and you know this is something that I've been chasing for years I put eight years of my life into this I put eight years of my life into this and you know I missed a lot of things I made a lot of sacrifices and um, I'm very thankful that I had people that have supported me friends and family along this journey but the reason why I react this way now is because this is literally in essence of what I've something that I've been believing it ever since I did this and it was the fact is just making your making your thoughts become reality you know and this has a lot of personal implication for me because this is something that like I said I I, I had been working towards and I've been I've been chasing after it you know the fact that we are here now and I've been climbing that mountain and just climbing chipping away at it you know uh, it, it's it's a very powerful thing for me and you know I, I the one thing that I want people to take away from this just from watching the goddamn videos that I have it's not it, just not about the weight it's not about powerlifting it's not about sports it's just about who you are as a person and as an individual and how powerful your mind really is like I said when I started this I had no idea this was something that was in me but when I started and I did my first competition I told myself and I believed I truly believed that if I put the work in and I give the time and dedication I can be the best at this and in a few days time I have an opportunity to make that become fruition and again this is something that I have put so much time and effort in it made again made sacrifices and chose to miss out on events miss out on parties you know just miss out on things and focus on the goal that I had the, the personal goal that I had litany of goals that I've had in this and that I've accomplished but this was always the ultimate goal and it's just, it, it's a true testament to how powerful having a vision is and literally this is something that I thought about for eight years eight years eight years of my life I have contributed time effort dedication sacrifice I have put so much into this because of how passionate I am about it and like I said regardless of what happens regardless if it happens or not I've made it a reality to be in this position now because of the time and effort that I put in and please use this as a testament as an example to it be true if it's something you really want and if you truly believe in it and if you put the time the dedication and the effort you can make it happen I told myself eight years ago that I wanted to make this happen. I didn't know when. I didn't know what day it was going to be, but I told myself. I told myself eight years ago 
one day I was going to put myself in this position. And ladies and gentlemen, I can I can happily say that I'm in that position now. It's not about just a sport. It's not about lifting heavy weights. It's not about any of that. It's about having a passion for something and ultimately believing in, in yourself. Please, if you've ever been in a situation where you had doubt, you had second guesses, you had what ifs, you had a slight disbelief in your goals, your passion, your dreams. Please use this as a testament to show you. You can still look past that and still make whatever it is that you want become reality. That is the number one reason why I do these videos is because of that message that I try to drive home every single time. And I try to drive that into physical essence with what I do in this sport I really don't care about the fact that I find the, po the political aspect of it I don't care about it I don't it doesn't matter to me it doesn't matter to me because I know for a fact that the one thing that nobody can take away from me is that I set a goal in this and I and right at the tipping point of making that a reality. The reason why it's so powerful is because it's the saying that is true. You can't you can always look at how far you have to go, but you can never forget how far you've come. And that is such an important thing. And that's something that hits me is looking back and reflecting on what I did right, what I did wrong, and what got me here. What got me to this point. Like I said, regardless, if it happens, if it doesn't, the point is, I got myself here. I did that believing in myself, making the right choices, making the sacrifices, putting the time and the dedication and the effort and the passion and the drive to make it a reality. And I don't care what anybody says with whatever it is that you do. I don't care if it's something that involves money. I don't care if it's something that involves basket weaving. I don't care what it involves. The point is it starts with you and it starts with what you believe in. And if you truly, truly, truly believe that and you are willing to make the sacrifices, it is a true fact that you can make your thoughts become reality. This is the last goal that I have that everything I want to complete in this sport. Do I see myself walking away from the sport after that? I don't see myself walking away from training, but I know for a fact that at some point, you know, I may move on to something else, but I'm not ready for that because I enjoy the sport too much, which is why I know for a fact I'm always going to train as if I'm getting ready for a competition because I just love the aspect of it. I love the climb. I love the road, the dedication. I love that because it instills a lot in you and it makes you reflect and learn a lot of things. But you can grab that from whatever you're pursuing yourself. You can reflect and look back and see what's gotten you to this point, what decisions you made that were correct, incorrect, what you could have done better, what you shouldn't have done, all those things. I believe in essence, setting yourself a goal and pursuing it 
will teach you a lot of things as a human being, regardless of whatever it is. Because I can have somebody who wants to be a librarian and put the same time and effort and passion as somebody like myself who wants to lift the heaviest weight ever drug tested in my weight class in the history of powerlifting. The variable is what the goals are. The constant is the dedication, the effort, and the drive. That's always going to be the same. So I want to say thank you. I'm thankful that I had this platform. I think well, I had this opportunity to be able to just share my thoughts and my opinions. And the reason why I initially started this was just to give feedback for myself. But I want to look back at these videos and remind myself, what is it that I did right? What is it that I did wrong? What is it that made me feel this way? And what got me here? And I hope for anybody that watches the videos, which you're probably more just watching the workout and not me actually having a conversation. For those of you that do, I truly hope that you take something from this. So I will have one more video. That will be my uh, last official workout, which would just be working up to a moderate single just to keep my CNS prime and ready for the competition that I've been waiting for ever since I started powerlifting. Again, I thank you all for your support. I thank my family and my friends, my loved ones that have supported me throughout this journey. It has been a great ride and the mission, the goal, we are on the cusp of it. I think of Kobe Bryant when he says the job's not done and it's true. Yeah, maybe here, but now it's time to execute. But I can assure you that on that day, I will be bringing my absolute best. And I will do everything in my power to deliver, regardless, regardless. Again, I thank you for your support. I'm one and a half weeks out. Let's make our dreams become reality. Thank you.